Perception is the conscious, listen, the conscious recognition and interpretation of a sensory, the five we just named, that serves as a basis for understanding, learning, knowing, or for motivating a particular action so or the first reaction. stage is a, a stimulus. You need something to, to, um, to uh, you need some stimulus for you to begin to perceive. Remember the definition, it's the conscious recognition and interpretation of a sensory. So the first thing that comes first is a stimulus. If I pick this towel right now and throw it at Monique, her, her, uh, her conscious, she has a sensory that's going to be recognized what I'm about to do, and she may react, she may duck. If she fast enough, she's going to duck or move to the side. So listen, so the first thing is a stimulus. The first stage that comes into your life, a stimulus, something that you touch, you hear, you see, you taste, or you smell. The second stage will be a perception, is what you perceive, is what you are now aware of. So first it comes a stimulus, something that you are stimulated by, that becomes you become now aware of it. This third stage is a recognition. It is what you interpret that you are aware of caused by you some about stimulus. There are two realities, family, that we should be conscious of. There's the natural reality. There's what, this is what we see, what we hear, what we know by the natural senses. And there's also a spiritual reality. That is what we believe of God, what is written by God or of God, and what has been spoken by God or of God. That is a spiritual reality. So as we look at the perception of reality and understanding that how whatever stimulus that comes in our mind and how it affects, we, we become aware and we begin to interpret and then we take some action on both the natural realm and the spiritual reality. And when we understand those two, it can help us, family, as Christians, better deal with perception, better deal with how we perception affects our, our perception to shape, especially a wrong or a false perception to shape our reality. We run the risk of missing out on God. We run the risk of being something that we're not. We run the risk of, of missing God's blessing in our lives because we allow what others have thought of us or what you think of yourself. Your perception of your, listen, your perception of yourself, that's probably worse than the, than the perception of others of you or from others of you. You know, somebody say this about me, I probably could, you know, block it out. But if I begin to say about me, then it's going to start shaping There's a my reality. There's tension, family, that you and I deal with between perception and reality. The perception of reality sometimes can mess us up if we are not careful. So there is a tension between there. But here's something I want to give you. When the two intersect, that is, human perception of reality and God's perception of spiritual reality, then uh, perception or the perception of reality is in balance.